Anyways, hello guys, and thank you for coming here. This is really fortunate for me to come with you guys. And, um, to tell you the truth, I don't really feel comfortable with this microphone, but whatever. I can just present. Anyway, so today I'm going to tell you a bit about Pi. No, I'm not talking about blueberry slash raspberry slash banana pie, even though these are really delicious. I'm talking about the number, approximately 3.14, also known as the second most known constant in the world. The third most known is phi, which is half of pi. Does anybody know which one is the most known? Yes, Iggy. Correct, it was infinity. Infinity though, what I don't like about infinity is that it has no value, pretty much just like my life. <laughs> but seeing pi and looking at its great value gave my life a value, but my body myself doesn't have one. Anyways, I was training my small brain to expand the phi and memorize all these tiny digits. And um, here we go, I guess. Is everybody ready? I don't think some of these yeses were too loud. Everybody ready? Okay, then let's start. Pi is equal to 3.14159265358979323284623327950288419716939375105820974 Sorry, where was I? Okay, again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pi is equal to 3.14159265358979323284623824567953993757510592307812097494592307816242 and 5820698 Sorry, I just need to catch some breath. 9644629489549306442 Mike dropped <laughs> but just because I finished reciting pi doesn't mean that my show has come to an end. This is a message to all you viewers who are developing a little bit of envy and jealousy towards me because I'm just way better than you in memorizing. But that doesn't mean that sh that sh that doesn't mean that you suck. To be to be honest actually, you're pretty good. You just haven't found it yet. And it's not math that brought me to so much energy and so much confidence and making me want to stand in front of you and say hey, these all, all of these digits in front of you. To, to tell you the truth, it took more than a year to memorize these. Yeah. It was actually m music which helped me develop my way all the way onto the stage. And thanks to music, I have learned a lot of things, including, including a 
I gained a little bit more self-esteem. I've been a little bit more empathetic. I was a m more of an extrovert. And, there, and I still love listening to music today. And my favorite songs are by DJ Striden. Extreme songs for the boys. For but listen, it doesn't mean that, but all of you can find your own song. Find it, develop it. My s and maybe it will help you with reading, writing, art, history, geography. Oh yeah, and can't forget about PE, which I still suck though at it. But af after you get good at it, not only will you become better at that, maybe you will also make your own song. And maybe it will inspire other generations. So go out there and show that you're worth it. Show your heart out to the others. Come on. Is it really that hard? Thank you.